Today in Solo Queue, we are back in, well, Solo Queue. And hopefully you have forgotten everything that happened in the last match, because I sure did not. But it's a brand new day, so let's jump right into it. So far, I have played 12 matches with Savior, so if my mathematical calculations are correct, then that's more than 10. And that only means that I can auto-lock this laser beam guy. What do you mean I didn't include the win rate in my calculations? That's not important. What's important is none of my teammates saw my win rate, so like the old saying, what they don't know shouldn't hurt them. Maybe in this game it will. But since we're in the game now, we should forget all about that and focus on clearing our wave early because um, we got pretty bad cooldown early game as savior and if we let the enemy mage clear this lane first then we'll not have a chance in ever getting a cabbage. Oh, but we don't have time to worry about that because we got an invasion here. Of course, it's Mr. Tigreal himself. And the slippery kind of Mr. Tigreal who thinks that he can escape. Well, he probably could since he used his flicker, but that means that he won't have flicker the next time we meet him. And you know what? He might not have interrupted our jungle, but he sure did distract us from getting this uh, walking cabbage. So that's a win for him. And if that's a win for him, that means we are losing. Ouch, Moskov, you bastard. Um, wait a second. This Gushin is trying to steal a bowl of turtle soup. I apologize, my good friend, but this turtle soup is only enough for five servings. That is why there's world hunger right now, and the best solution that I can think of right now is eliminating more of the mouths to feed so that nobody goes hungry if they're dead. I mean, you can't blame me, I'm just doing God's work. If God was Thanos... Come on guys, that gadget eats a lot of turtle soup. If we're going to balance the supply of food and mounts, then we're gonna have to eliminate him. And if nobody can do it, I will do it myself. There we go. Balanced as all things should be. I haven't tried stealing a blue buff with my ultimate yet, but I guess we're too late. And the Scution is here, so um... Okay, that didn't kill him, but he sure can't fight anymore with that low HP, can he? Kufra, get out of there, buddy. Um, I will save you by securing uh, nothing. Okay, we still have not enough damage. We don't have a lot of items yet, but uh, at least we save our tank. Because we're gonna need him if we want another serving of turtle soup. Oh crap, they were behind us. And they also got the turtle soup. Well, that sucks. But what's more suckier is this Moskov putting spears in my body while I was ulting. Whoops, it's turtle time again, and now it's not. How many turtle soup are these guys gonna need in the- Oh crap, that's scary. That is definitely the power and the courage that you get from eating a turtle soup. Ow. Somehow, Harley is asking our Kufra if he knows how to play. I think he knows how to play, otherwise we won't be winning this team fight. All right, people, we have four men and they got three men. Okay, now it's only two. And I think I'm feeling a little sleepy, so I'll just, uh, I'll just lie down here for a bit, if you don't mind. Ooh, a shooting star. Make a wish, mummy guy. It's that Tigreal again, up to no good. And this time, he got alien lady with him, but he's taking damage from four enemies at once. And this Moskov's pretty brave. I commend him for that. He's been... He's been doing that a lot, and I hope he keeps on doing that. There's a Gushun in that bush, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, just taunt him. I mean, we can take care of him. There's, uh, there's three of us. You know what? I'm really getting tired of that Gushun. Hey, you guys, I see you on the map. What are you guys doing there? What are you guys up to, huh? Oh, they were killing our mummy guy. That's fine, he's already dead anyways, he's a zombie, remember? But I, on the other hand, am a living person, so uh, could you stop trying to ult me for one second, Mr. Tigreal? Because to be honest, I prefer that you are this far away from me at least, so I can do what I want and that you completely, totally ignore me when I deal my BS disable and damage. Okay, that's not good. We lost our tank again. At least I'm able to save this Esmeralda if I do this. Okay, maybe I can't. But at least I can take revenge on that knife boy because he's very low on HP. Okay, maybe I can't do that as well. 
Are they seriously going for the Lord right now? Yeah, they have Moskov and we have this annoying knife boy in front of me again who should really keep his knives to himself. Meanwhile, these enemies really did it, didn't they? They took the Lord. So I guess we're gonna have a fun time defending. Or I guess not because we have Beatrix and she took care of it all by herself and also that knife boy. So she's doing a really good job in making me look bad because I look lazy if I'm not securing our kill. And it looks like Kufra didn't like that so he left the match. While in the middle of the enemy team. Okay, you do what you gotta do, mummy guy. And I'll do what I gotta do to survive. But the thing is, in order for me to survive, I got to kill someone. Speaking of survival, I don't think that Tigreal understands any of that rubbish because he's here again and he's trying to fight four people at once. But maybe because he has immortality, it's the perfect counter item to my kill securing ability. But because of that, their marksman is dead and their knife boy jungler is also dead. So that only means that this lord belongs to- oh crap, Gatot is here. Okay, we're good, I got it. I uh, totally meant to do that. It's definitely not me being lucky. Ow, oh, see? Would you call anyone getting hit by Moscow Spear and getting harassed by this Lucian lucky? I don't think so, but if we have teammates like this who can take damage for me while I secure our kill, then maybe you can call me lucky. And now that we have the Lord, I think there's a good chance that we might be taking down the enemy's inhibitor turret. But of course, the enemy's not going to stand by as we try to make a hole in the middle of their base that we can freely enter. So why don't we just open up another hole in their body using our laser. But the fight is not over because this Beatrix might get chased by Guishin if I wasn't here. Okay, how did she end up killing him? Okay, never mind. We got an assist out of that and this Tigreal needs to stop moving around a lot because it scares me. It scares me that he didn't get anyone with that ultimate, but Gatot might. Might get a frozen midget. Nice timing on that winter truncheon, Harley. Now if you can just uh, give me the kill, then um, it would have been nicer. Guys, come on, let's do it. They don't have any towers anymore. How can these guys even defend when they don't have any more inhibitor towers? It's not like they can attack us head on and turn around this game, right? Right? Every time our Harley dies, our tank takes damage. Emotional damage. Come on guys, get them out of here, out of the Lord area. Come on knife boy, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson that running around with knives can lead to fatal accidents? Okay, I secured the Lord earlier, right? So I'm pretty sure that Harley will uh, do his job this time. Okay, Harley, you're fired. Yeah, tell him, Esmeralda. He's uh, VV. Oh crap, Moscow's here. Gotta help my teammates and uh, maybe not. Because, uh, wow, he killed them so fast. I didn't even get that on camera. And now the enemies have Lord going down our bot lane and they're here trying to destroy our mid lane and at the same time it looks like they're invading our blue buff well we can't have that can we so we're going to send out a little warning right there to moskov and the stigreal is escaping with one hp wait let me check let's make sure our calculations are correct okay he escaped with zero hp but the fight is not over because we still have this tanky XP laner Gatot. I just realized now that they have two tanks. That can't be right. We only have one tank and one crying midget. Guys, I don't think that taking them on in the mid lane, especially when there's only two of you, is a wise decision. You know what? This is getting out of hand. The gushin has been hunting me and he can one-shot me with his full combo and um, I can't really deal with Moskov. So what we'll do is we'll just secure... Oh crap, she flickered? Okay. At least she's running away from the fight now so that we can deal with this Tigreal. But he has his immortality again so he get to enjoy the feeling of uh, dying twice all over again. And what do we have here? Moskov with immortality and now that he doesn't have it, he can go bye bye. Okay. I gotta be honest, our teammates are really good at the art of securing kills as well. But we're still gonna try, I mean the enemy might escape and we can't have that. Okay good job Beatrix. 
And with four enemies dead and our entire team still alive and breathing, this gadget Kacha is the only thing standing in our way of getting a perfect victory selfie. And now he's not. So it's time to celebrate prematurely by getting a group victory selfie, see? Our teammates also understand that what's more important than getting a win is being there, looking at the camera for a perfect victory selfie. So that's gonna be our savior game. Wow, we got 21 assists, 11 kills. Should be MVP, right? We're not? Oh, who is it? It's Kufra! Okay, the guy who's uh, getting all the emotional damage from Harley's chat whenever he dies. You did a pretty good job tanking and most of all you deserve the MVP for being so patient, Mr. Uh, Philip Kent. So that's gonna be our savior game guys. I want to thank you for watching these videos and I hope you're still staying healthy and of course taking care of yourselves. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more of these in the future and as always I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!